Good morning, YouTube. Geezer and the gang here. Just pulling out of a KOA campground in uh, Jackson, Minnesota. And uh, just right off the bat, I have to back out of this spot because you probably can't see it, but between here and the road is about a foot and a half drop. And I'm not going over it. So, I'm going to have to go old school and back her up. And of course, the guy across the street has got his car parked right in the way. That's alright, we can do her. Well, as you might guess, by definition, since I said KOA, this was kind of a lukewarm stay. Uh, pluses and minuses, I don't know which out weighs the other, but this park's really not my cup of tea. It's a big park, very family oriented, very entertainment oriented, and noisy sucker. Uh, and overall, I don't mind the noise, but just to let you know, it's. There's a lot going on. Last night they had a hay rack ride, karaoke, and an ice cream social uh, down by the pool, which brings up another situation. The, uh, the pool for adults is useless. It, it's really small, kind of like a lot of people would have in their yard, and it's just chuck full of kids all day long. But, uh, 36 bucks no discounts of course and uh, we had a electric water site so I'm kind of giving you a tour as I head down to the dump station because I got to unload tanks this morning but wasn't a bad stay wasn't a good stay just somewhere in the middle a lot of friendly people here though, I mean right now, getting people waving at us from every direction, which is kind of neat, I mean, like I say, pluses and minuses. They're waving because we're not going to try to invade their pool space. <laughs> you think that's it? They're just glad to have us gone. Okay, there's that little chore taken care of. Not one of my favorites. At least it's not so awful hot today. It's a, it's considerably cooler than it has been the last couple of days. So should make for a little nicer traveling weather. We're down the road. Down the road, Mitch. About 
300 more miles to go to get home, so we're not going to make it all in one shot, that's for sure. But anyhow, we're on I-35 South now, headed towards Des Moines, Iowa. sure what that is it just passed us I don't know if you can see it on a GoPro or not I don't know if I can catch him I'll push class here just a little bit see if I can catch him I really don't know what that's supposed to be but it is bizarre it's an old man driving it <laughs> Most people when they think about Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, they think cornfields. And you know the truth is there's an awful lot of land covered by corn and soybean fields. But these states are actually uh, plains states. And uh, on the roadways you see an awful lot of wildflowers and prairie grasses. It's kind of pretty when you, if you don't uh, get fixated on the, on the farm field. I don't know what it looks like to you, but it looks like home to me. Essentially, in Des Moines, Iowa, there's the intersection with uh, South 35 that we've been on and uh, Interstate 80 East towards Davenport, Iowa. And we're going to jump off here on 80 East and continue on down the road. We're just about at a stopping point for the day though. We've been at it quite a while now. It's time to call it a day here.
Honey, Rome. <laughs>